This is Working Wooden Planes. I'm Abraham. I take antique planes and get them back into working condition. So today we are repairing a broken handle or tote as it is known uh, on this beautiful jack plane. Um, not sure what it's made of, a lot heavier than beach. Um, absolutely gorgeous thing. Uh, really a shame about the, the tote made by John Veit, corner of Newmarket and Green Street, Philadelphia. He was active between 1857 and 1899, so 120, 160 year old plane. Wedges, beautiful, iron, beautiful, very little rust. Um, yeah, overall, just a really great, great looking plane. Uh, I bought it online and when it was being shipped, <clears throat> it uh, it broke off uh, some scratches there. It's like the worst thing that's wrong with this thing. Um, so yeah, so there's a couple different ways to fix a um, broken handle or a tote. Um, you can um, put a screw in or you can drill through the the tote down into the base and put like a big screw through there. Um, that's one method. Uh, right where the either your palm or your hand hits the handle, um, you can also drill from there down into the um, into the the base as well. Um, those are those work well. They're very strong, but they're really ugly. Um, and so we're gonna use a slightly different method today. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly clean break um, on the back side there's a few more chips missing so it's not not quite as clean all the way around um, the tote itself is in is in great condition um, you know a lot of times broken um, tote is just really a death uh, a death blow to a plane it's not worth fixing but this is in such great condition that um, it's worth worth the work so what we're going to do is, instead of going in from the top, we're going to go in from the bottom um, up through where the base of the, the toad is and then into the broken section um, and use a dowel, a 3 8 inch dowel um, and glue and clamps and uh, yeah. So I really like this method because it's a lot prettier than the other method, methods I described. Um, when you're using the plane, the plane's on the shelf, um, you can't tell that it's been repaired. Um, so that's why I like it. Uh, we're gonna move pretty quick through all this stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory, um, but it is, it's good to have the visuals along with the explanation. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just hold that on a little bit and find the, the line that we're gonna to wanna to screw, um, or not screw, that we're gonna to wanna to drill. Um, so mark that out, and then after I mark it out, find the center. It's like three inches, so inch and a half. And then this is kind of the tricky part. You need to be able to clamp this down firm enough so that you can drill into it, but at the same time leave a gap for the drill bit itself. Um, you could use an auger, you could use whatever you want. You can't use a drill press because the, the toad is in the way. Um, but I do it by hand. It's a little nerve wracking. Um, I can't drill a straight line to save my life. Like I said, this was super hard wood. So this was uh, a bit of a chore going through all this. So once we have that hole drilled, it's uh, time to test the dowel. Um, this is one of the mistakes I made here. Normally when I've done this in the past, it's been pretty easy to get the dowel in and out. Um, so that take, you know, pop it in, test it out, take it back out again, add glue, and then Put it in for the final uh, for final adjustments, and <laughs> this one would not come back out. Um, so I ended up not being able to glue the dowel um, 
in the base, um, which I'm really hoping does not cause long-term problems. Um, in the short term, it feels very strong. Uh, the repair feels really good, um, but we'll see over time. Anyways, uh, so just testing this out on both sides, um, making sure it fits well. So we're going to glue it up, uh, wiggle it into place, and a little mallet action. Add our clamps and let this thing sit overnight. So clamps come off, um, let's test it. Let's see how strong it feels. And not surprisingly, feels super, super strong, no matter how I tweak it, back and forth, um, seeing if I can pull it apart, um, using pretty much all my strength there and not being able to, 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 um, to get it to crack or to creak or to move it all. Um, so next step, I'm gonna take and soft it out. At this point in time, if you're gonna lap the sole, um, you can just leave it as is because you're gonna sand it down. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much work I wanna do to this plane, so I'm just gonna take a chisel and just real gently uh, make this uh, perfectly flat. So that's it. Um, quick and easy fix. Um, if you like this method, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, um, let me know as well. Uh, I think this is um, a pretty, pretty successful way to fix a broken tote. Um, instead of having to throw out a plane because the, the handle's broken. Um, this worked out uh, really well. It was a very clean repair. Um, this will be a user for sure. Thanks for watching and goodbye.